Next into the den, a racy proposal that combines reality TV with exotic dancing. But before the pitch gets started, exotic dance instructor Stephanie Turner gives a saucy demo of the idea. But will they raise cold, hard cash or just a few eyebrows? I missed some of that. Can we do it again? <laughs> no. Hello, James. My name is Janet, and I live in St. John's, Newfoundland. I am here today because I think between you people and myself, we can make a lot of money. And how? I'm listening. Okay. England had a TV program on us several years ago, Pop Rock Idol. And then the United States became second. And they started with the American Idol. And Canada, being Canada, came in third with the Canadian Idol. And I think it's time that Canada is number one. And we have a Canadian exotic idol. Janet Mitchell hopes to put the steam in mainstream TV with her exotic dance idol competition, in which women would compete to be Canada's sexiest dancer. What's your background? How did you get to the stage where you're going to be doing TV shows? Uh, I was a manager of one of the oldest clubs in St. John's. OK, so you had a strip club. Oh, yes, for almost 13 years. OK. And there's not a Navy ship that can't tell you the name of it. Can you tell me now how much money you're looking for? And How much money do I want right now at this particular time and moment? Yes. Between two and 250? You or, don't know? If you're not quite sure what that means, that means between 200 and 250,000, which for is a quarter what? million, what for between 18 to 20 percent. Suddenly, the dragons aren't sure if it's Janet Mitchell's business idea they find disagreeable or just Janet. I did up a format, but, but then, and I put up rules and regulations, and I put, made sure everything was copyrighted. You've gone to a lawyer and copyrighted that format. Uh, you know something? Being in business for 13 years, I got to know a lot of lawyers. They were customers. I believe and they I were customers. To, and you know what? I got to know a lot of judges, too. What does that have to do with a business idea? I'm completely lost. You haven't been clear on the business idea. I still don't understand what you have a copyright on. You are probably one of the worst business presenters we've had in here. Because since I came on the stage, I really haven't had a chance to do anything. Because your idea is awful. The yeah, idea is good. awful. Jen, let's deal with reality. What drives television, how everybody makes money on TV is advertising. But what so, sells? Work with me, baby, just for a second, all okay. right? Work with me. When you create a show, the reason it gets paid for is that you sell advertising in it. Obviously. When you take peelers or exotic heartfelt dancers or whatever you want to call them and they bounce themselves on chairs and they're provocative, that's going to take probably 80% of the advertising market out of the equation. And that's the problem with your idea. And while I really enjoyed the dancing, it's about the money that I really care about. But the fact is, it won't make any money. And that's the problem. And for that reason, <coughs> I'm out. What you have is maybe an idea that you put together with some, some rules and regulations. It's nothing unique. For that reason, I'm out. OK, but excuse me. If I'm allowed to have a turn to speak. Well, actually, you've had a lot of a turn, actually. No, actually, I haven't. Now, I don't know you. I've only seen you for a few minutes. But I suspect that you could be very aggressive and difficult to get on with. I am. And Jim, you, why as, would you admit as a that? result, you make me uncomfortable. Why, why would I admit to it? Can I, why, why not lie to me, at least? At least tell me you're a nice person. Because it, I'm not a liar. OK, neither am I'm I. I'm honest. Well, so, then, you know, you make it easy. Robert, I don't want to Robert, give you my money because Robert, you're very Robert, uh, offensive. Robert, I'm out. I'm offensive. I could never be in partnership with you on anything. But you guys never once gave me a chance well, to explain we my Well, I think we did. Idea. I've given you my reason. I'm out. I certainly do not think this is at all an investment idea. I want to be involved with good television. I don't think this is good television. So I'll be out. Have a nice day. I'll tell you what's going to happen. The day is going to come. They're going to look and they're going to say, damn, we should have went for it. She might, why, you know why? That's why I'm aggressive, because I have to be. <laughs>